guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're back here at Dimmit Chevrolet in Clearwater, Florida, because guess what? We have a midsize SUV that might surprise you. This is a 2022 Chevrolet Blazer. This particular one is a 2LT trim, and it is in that color that pops like a shiny orange called cayenne orange. But before we get into this iconic nameplate from Chevrolet, let's talk about what's going on here. When the Blazer made a mighty return, a lot of people were feeling not so loved by Chevrolet, especially the off-road people who want to take their vehicles through some of the most treacherous of all conditions. If you remember the Blazer from the past, it was really that off-road worthy SUV before things were even called SUVs. Well, fast forward to the 21st century, the Blazer is still here, it is in that different shape and different form, but there may be some things that surprise you. I think the biggest thing with this 2LT trim is the price. Now, I'm not gonna let the cat out of the bag, but even though this is considered to be a mid-size two-row SUV, for the price of this, you're actually competing with the higher-end trims in the smaller compact SUV class. Now, in that compact class, there's a lot of heavy hitters. I think the one that brings the most style is definitely going to be the Mazda CX-5. So what I want to do is I want to try to wrap our minds around this question. What is more important to you? Do you want all the bells and whistles and all the fancy technology that you would get in a top trim CX-5? Are you okay giving up some of those things to go with a larger SUV with this Blazer. Let's go ahead, let's dive into our cayenne orange, that shiny metallic orange paint on our Blazer and see if we can answer the question, Blazer or fully loaded CX-5? Let's find out. Right off the bat, the style. I remember when this first came out, people were kind of rubbing their eyes because it looked like a Camaro that was turned into an SUV and it still has that new familiar shape. Now at the front, you are gonna get a split headlight design setup. You got your LED daytime running lamps, just like the CX-5 has LED daytime running lamps. Down below, you are gonna get an LED projector beam style headlight. The best news is no fake vents. The one thing that they did do is on this 2LT trim, you are getting flat black around that headlight housing. And on the lower end, some heavy duty flat black. Now coming across the front end of the business, you are getting that iconic logo, the Chevrolet bow tie with the silver trim. And then you have this very simple but effective horizontal multi-level design, all flat black. Comparing this to the top trim of the CX-5, this would all be gloss black and definitely have a little bit more of a luxurious feel to it compared to this 2LT option blazer. On the bottom portion, you're gonna get this flat metallic silver finish. Let me know how you feel about that. Some people feel that this kind of cheapens the front end a little bit, but it is fully functional both at the top and at the bottom and plenty of orange for everybody to get their vitamin C. As you can hear those sirens, those are the CX-5 owners that are running off to Mazda to, uh, to get new CX-5s over this Blazer. They're gonna keep on trucking down the road, but let's get up onto the hood. Simple, clean design, and you can see the size difference between this and the CX-5 right at the front end of the business. The hood is kind of bold. It's got nice body lines, high peaks on the fenders, gives you good sight lines out the front windshield, but definitely you'll be able to tell the difference appearance-wise between a Blazer and a CX-5. Now, when we come around the bend, what are we working with? You're gonna get these bright metallic silver wheels. Not the sexiest wheel, but the good news is, is that it is a clean design that kind of works well with our cayenne orange. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, what is the size of this wheel? This is an 18 inch wheel. So definitely on the CX-5, you'll be able to get larger size wheel when you go higher up that trim compared to this 2LT. And remember, you can go Premier trim, which will give you a 20 inch wheel, but we're talking about the same price, right? We're not talking about a $50,000 SUV compared to a $35,000 SUV. We're trying to keep things closer. But you have this metallic silver, simple design, the flat black around the fender treatment, 
guess what? New for 2022 on the CX-5, you actually get painted fenders, fully painted fenders. So something to think about. If you don't like the flat black, if you go fully loaded CX-5, it's all painted now. But that is a good size wheel overall. You get a nice, thick, meaty sidewall. It's a 55 series sidewall, and it's a 235 on the width tire. So that definitely is gonna give you a comfortable ride down the road. Now, going down the side of this uh, cayenne orange, you get more orange on the mirror caps. I like the way they blacked out the A pillar here. Gives it a nice modern look to it. You got the blazer name kind of high. I wish they would have brought that a little bit lower on the door panel. And then more of that flat black that comes up a pretty good height on the side. But the good news is it curves underneath to kind of clean everything underneath on the bottom side. We got color match door handles, flat black around the tri window treatment. Like the way they do the very, very nice, flat, sexy roof design on this Blazer. And then coming towards the rear, we got a color match shark fin antenna, low roof spoiler. Both vehicles are gonna have wipers. So it's even Stevens on the Zonks on the rear wiper. I do like the way they do the taillights though. Even though I like the taillights more in the CX-5, these rear taillights are looking crisp. You got your Blazer name, the bow tie, and then another thing that's kind of nice is that it's just real clean on the lower side. And what I mean by that is if you drop down, you are going to get functional exhaust on both sides, nice stainless steel, round tip. And then you have some more of that flat gray finish with some flat black. But underneath here, you do have the ability to tow with this blazer. But why don't we go ahead, we're comparing it to the CX-5. Let's pop the hood and see what's powering our 2022 Blazer 2 LT. All right, guys, we got the hood pop. We're comparing it to the top trim CX-5. We do have hydraulic hood struts on the CX-5. You do get a prop rod. Now, when you go top trim CX-5, you are getting a turbocharged power plant. And guess what? Underneath this very small engine cover, we're also getting a turbocharged power plant. What are we looking at? We're looking at a two liter turbo in line four, 228 horsepower, 258 pound feet of torque, all made it to a nine speed automatic transmission. Now, if you're comparing this to the CX-5 turbo, if you use premium fuel, you'll have 250 horsepower. So something to think about and 320 pound feet of torque and the CX-5 comes standard with all wheel drive. Our Blazer is front wheel drive, but like I said, we have a nine speed automatic, whereas in the Mazda, you have a six speed automatic. You could tow up to 1,500 pounds. The vehicle weighs 3,907 pounds. And MPGs, 22 in the city, 29 on the highway. So definitely some things you need to think about, especially if you're living up north and you need all-wheel drive or you want all-wheel drive, the CX-5 for 2022, all of them come with all-wheel drive. But why don't we go ahead, let's get to the interior and see how this Blazer 2LT stacks up against the CX-5. All right, guys, we're inside this 2022 Chevrolet Blazer. Remember, this is a 2LT trim with that cayenne orange, which is an optional charge color. But I know you're seeing yourself, well, Joe, I was ready to pull the trigger on a CX-5. I didn't even think that a Blazer would be comparable to a CX-5, but you're saying that the price is comparable, even though it's a little bit larger. So how much is this particular Blazer? This one being a 2LT with the optional cayenne orange color, you're looking at an MSRP a tick under $35,000. That's gonna put it on par with basically a fully loaded CX-5. Let's see what you get for the money blazer style to the door panels. You're getting hard touch material up top, hard plastic. So that's definitely gonna be a zonk. You do have some metallic silver there, which looks better than gloss black. Armrest is soft, believe it or not, with the contrast stitching. You got a little bit of silver trim, and I do like the way they have a split level door pocket. So you can keep your cold snacks separated from your warm snacks. So you can keep a couple KFC uh, chicken legs up front on that top portion, maybe some wings, some fried chicken wings, and then you could put a couple maybe ice pops in the bottom one, but just make sure you eat those fast because they're probably gonna melt super fast. Now going from the door panel to the dash, good news is soft touch material. I like the stitch work that they did. The silver trim blends in nicely. And then what are you gonna get? You're gonna get an eight inch infotainment system. Now, if you go CX-5, you are getting an 8.8 .8 inch system, but here's where the Blazer wins. This is an actual touch screen. So you have a full touch screen, 
capability with the 8 inch. No navigation, but you do have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and that Wi Fi hotspot. Throw it into reverse, super clear on the resolution with trajectory, and that definitely is better resolution than the CX5, even though the CX5 has really good resolution. But like I said, I think the biggest plus is that this is a touchscreen. You do have your dual climate controls, and I like the way that you use the trim ring to operate those climate controls. No heated seats, no ventilated seats. So that's something to think about when you're comparing the two trims. We do have a USB-C, USB-A. I like the soft touch material here in the stitching. You could easily put, I would say, five Twinkies or two Krispy Kreme glazed donuts here. So you decide where you want to put with your snacks, but that's how much room you have. I do like the silver here because look, no fingerprints. Whereas the CX-5 uses gloss black and that's going to give you fingerprints. This is going to control that nine-speed automatic transmission. Two cup holders. You got your good old-fashioned key fob. Nice. No remote start or anything. I think the Mazda has the better key fob. And you do have three separate modes, which is nice. You have normal, which is tour, snow, and that checkered flag means sport. Nice high armrest with a little bit of a Tootsie Roll holder there. Open it up. Easily put, I would say, seven tennis balls. Say you got your ball signed by Serena and Venus Williams. You can keep those balls in there. And you got a 12 volt. So something to think about. Seats, not leather, not vegan leather, they're cloth. So cloth seats and a 2LT, very grippy material, but I have to admit, it does feel a little bit rental car-ish. Manual controls for the passenger. I have electric controls for the driver over here and no sunroof. That's another thing at this price point. Do you want size? Do you want amenities? Coming over the business end, I'll show you behind the wheel in this All place. Right guys, business time. Like I promised, you do have electric assist controls for the passenger, uh, for the driver, manual controls for the passenger. So something to think about. And then of course you're gonna get more room up here. It's a larger SUV, duh. You're gonna have more room up front. And I'm gonna probably suspect that you're gonna have more room in the back seat and even more room in the cargo, but we're not there yet. Let's talk about what we got up here. Remember I was telling you about amenities and finishes? I hope you like rubber, like Rubbermaid, because the steering wheel is just your standard rubber steering wheel. They did a good job trying to make it look like leather, but it's not leather wrap like you're gonna find in that top trim CX-5. Not the sexiest of horn buttons. I do like the flat black on the actual buttons themselves though, which is great. Manual tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And then you're gonna have a mixture of an analog and digital dash. You could scroll through different information in that 4.2 inch digital display and then everything else is gonna be analog. Plus you have the nice safety features, backup assist where the seat vibrates and the LED lights shine on the windshield to let you know you're about to run somebody over. But why don't we go ahead, let's get in the back seat and see if it's right and I'm right and it's true that there's more room back there in a Blazer than a CX-5. Let's go All check right, it out. guys, here we are, back seat time in this cayenne orange, this shiny orange of a Blazer. Like I was saying, I wasn't lying, I'm not telling a fib, there's more room in the back seat as well. I'm six feet tall still, plenty of room up front, plenty of room in the back. Speaking of the back, backs of the seats, what can you put in the, these pockets? You got two pockets, you guys should put a couple empanadas back here. We're not far from Tampa, downtown Tampa, Go get some Cuban food, go get some nice uh, Cuban sandwiches and some empanadas, easily put them back here. You got your rear AC vents, keep you cool while you're eating your Cuban, USB-C, USB-A, and you also have your auxiliary slot for that extra Cuban sandwich. And if you think about it, it's squared off because that's what you want is a nice pressed Cuban. Mmm, the good stuff. Over here on my side, I got plenty of room. And what's nice is, is that the seat slides, you can slide it fast or you can slide it slow, which is great. And then of course, you got the recline, just enough to make things interesting. Folded down, armrest. You wanna not put your arm here though, because it kind of hurts. It's, it's like hard, like a piece of wood. But you got two cup holders, but I am digging this nice grippy texture on the seats, which is really nice. But why don't we go ahead, let's get in that cargo area, because I'm telling you, if you're comparing it to a CX-5, there is no comparison. Let's go All check right, it out. Guys, time to get in the cargo area. 
on this particular 2LT, you're gonna have to use your muscles, lift it up, which way is the beach? It's actually that way. But anyways, when we're comparing this to the CX-5, because this is a larger SUV, you're getting, of course, more room. Well over 30 cubic feet of space with the seats up. We have our asparagus holders on both sides, or you could put an eggplant or maybe some squash on both sides. And then the even better news is, guess what? The seats fall down, easy to do. Just pull the handle and they lock into place. That's gonna give you almost 70 cubic feet of space. Nice flat floor, plenty of room. And then if you need a little bit more space, like you wanna squeeze some out, like this metallic orange that we have, you can get a little bit more juice underneath the cargo mat here because we got some storage areas there. And also at the front, Think about the Twinkies, think about the Snickers, and you got a spare so you're not gonna get stuck on the side of the road. But speaking of the road, it's time to hit it. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go on throttle in our 2LT Blazer. All right, guys, we're leaving Dimmit Chevrolet. We're in this 2022 Blazer, that 2LT trim. I'm gonna go ahead and put it into sport mode. You do also have sport mode on the CX-5. Remember, this is front wheel drive with that nine speed automatic transmission. But definitely while you're driving, easy to get comfortable in here, especially with the uh, ability to adjust the tilt and how far the steering wheel comes out. You're gonna enjoy the more room that you have. But when it comes to finishes, there's just no arguing or disputing with what Mazda brings to the table with the new CX-5. I mean, they added some refresh changes to the outside and the interior just has this really upscale fit and finish to it that not a lot of brands can do at the same price point. Visibility out front is, back, is great, out back even better, handles nicely. We're going to go on throttle though. If you're ready, I'm ready. On throttle, here we go. The 9 speed drops down and we are off and running. Now, if you don't use high octane in your CX-5, you're pretty much gonna have about the same amount of horsepower that this Blazer has, but you will have more torque in your CX-5, even when you don't use premium fuel. And torque is what's gonna help give you that oomph as you are going on throttle. Easy to get to the infotainment system, not as many functions as the entertainment system in the top trim CX-5, but you are getting touch controls. So you have that touch screen capability. Love the way the AC vents are in here. And it is a very comfortable driving SUV. Seats are comfy. I just wish that the top of the door panel wasn't so hard. Even on a 2LT, I wish they would have went a little bit softer on the material. But going down the road, you get a little bit of wind noise, but really other than that, it's very quiet in here. Little buzzy on the four cylinder when you go on throttle, but you're gonna get that as well in the CX-5. But it all just comes down to what do you want more? Do you want a little bit larger SUV with more room for everybody? Or do you want a little smaller SUV? Are you okay with a little smaller SUV? but you're getting more amenities and technology. But being that daily commuter, I think you can't go wrong with either one. And definitely this blazer in this cayenne orange is very eye-catching for sure. All right, guys, let's see how this blazer handles going into this left-hand bend. Very predictable, very confidence-inspiring. You're not gonna have to worry about losing control. And then back on throttle, here we go. Of course you can get a Blazer, like I said, with more amenities, all wheel drive. They even have a sportier one, the RS trim. But this 2LT, I think brings a lot of SUV for the money, especially when it comes to a mid-size two row SUV. But I'm hoping that this gave you a good overall feel of what the Blazer brings to the table. I'm going to wrap this one up and head back to Dimmit Chevrolet 
so I'll see you in a few seconds. All right, guys, it's been a great day once again here from Divot Chevrolet. I want to thank Rahio, Eli, the whole crew. Really, really great to get these 2022s as soon as they come off the truck. Let me know what you think. Are you digging the Cayenne Orange? Are you digging this particular 2LT trim at the price point compared to a fully loaded CX-5? How are you going to spend your hard-earned money on your SUV? Put it in that comment section. But if you're new to the channel, you're on your way out. Hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Raised Rides family. If you want to help us keep making great content just like you see here, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Raised Rise merch. Got to give it up to my chili pepper. Lori working that camera like a champ. She is red hot with all the great camera angles. Show her some love in that comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.